All right. What's good, Ravens? Fam. All right. Let me, oh, let me stay in the camera a little bit. Probably moved it with all the chaos going on for that game. Um, congratulations to the Colts. Good game. Good game by you all. But, yeah. Putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. All right, back. We're back. We're back. So, mm, Ravens are now two and one. It's a long season. Nobody's gonna go undefeated, but. That game to me, it all comes down to. I can't blame the defense. I can't. I'm. I'm not gonna blame the defense. I know some people uh, might blame the defense, but I can't blame the defense when. Let me. Let me pull this up real quick. Let me pull this up. Let me pull this up for you all. all right. Let me zoom in so y'all can see it a little better. One more. All right. When when you have a touchdown, then you have you, defense makes some punt. You have a fumble. Defense makes some punt. Then you punt. Defense is getting tired. Look at this. Look at this. Three plays, two minutes. Defense rested for two minutes. The defense was out there for four minutes, 11 seconds. Defense was out there for three minutes, eight seconds. You had the ball for one minute, 20 seconds. You punt. Then you fumble. This is how long the defense. Look, defense was out there four minutes and 29 seconds. You had the ball for nine seconds. Defense is right back out there. Hold them to a, a field goal. Then you do nothing. Then defense is like, okay, we're back at it again. You do nothing. Then defense, hold, you do nothing. Defense holds them to a field goal again. And then what do you do? For 49 seconds, you do nothing. This, the play calling by the offense was horrendous to me. After that, after that King Drake fumble. It was horrendous to me. And then Lamar starts running the ball. You have a little success. They wasn't using Gus a lot. Now, there was a point in time in the game where they were using Gordon and they were using Drake. Gordon, Drake. They punt, come back out, Gordon, Drake. And I'm like, is Gus hurt? We haven't heard anything. Is Gus hurt? Then... When they're like on a third down or something like that, then Gus comes out. And I'm like, well, where were you? What the heck is going on? Then obviously we know when he starts balling a little bit, he's starting to get more chances. I remember I seen that hit when he he got hit in the head and in the shoulder at the same time. And I was like, dang. And I was like, he's going to be concussed because he was getting up real slow. But the offense play calling this. Hopefully, this was Todd Munkin's last bad game of calling the plays because Lamar didn't have no chance, really. Mustard missed, snapped the ball, but he did block good on Lamar's run for the touchdown. I believe his second run. Then McCary, McCary, whatever. He had Lamar get uh, uh, his blind side got popped with a sack and almost fumbled the ball. So hopefully if there was miscues, Isaiah likely ball literally in your hands drops it. Miscues with the wide receivers at times. But yeah, it was just that type of game. Then I know some people say. 
It was Lamar's fault when he took that sack. He just should have thrown it away. And it would have been a 55 yard or something like that. So here is that actual play. It was already. He got sacked. Let's find it. Let's find it. I believe he got sacked. Where is that? Because Tucker missed the field goal. Actually, it's, uh, let's see. Yep, it's right here. First and 10. Lamar got sacked. First and 10, he got sacked. Negative 10 yards. Right here. Second and 20. Shotgun pass to DuVernay in the middle. DuVernay got kind of hit and dropped at the same time. Then it's third and 20. And Lamar gets back 18 yards, more than what he lost. For Justin Tucker to hit, get a chance to hit a 61-yarder. And he came just short of it. So we can't blame Lamar on that. This whole sequence, it was all bad. It was all bad. So much happened within, like, I believe one minute. It was all bad. They thought they were going to do the outside kick. Then my dude, Zay Flowers, he caught the ball. I thought he was going to run it, but they said he did a fair catch. So right after that, it was like, bro, y'all didn't use up no time. At all. Then there's there's and then in the overtime, Zay Flowers got a face mask. They didn't call. Then Zay Flowers got a oh oh god an offensive pass interference. They didn't call. So this L to me is on the offense and the refs. <laughs> The refs had to have some money on this or something. We need to do an investigation. That offensive pass interference on Zay in the middle of the field, by the way. In the middle. That, to me, reminded me, I think, oh, it was a while back. I think it happened to the Saints where old boy got, I think the, the Saints was playing the Rams and old boy got just hit, tackled. He got tackled and they didn't call pass interference. Zay Flowers got tackled. Not only did he get tackled, he got tackled and twisted around at the same time. But where did I go to do well on that? So the Ravens are two and one. It is what it is. But on to on to next week's game. And that's why I believe the the horse was maybe looking forward to overlooking overlooking the the Colts. But on to next week's game against the Browns. That should be a good one. So what did you all think of the game? It was a little rainy out there too. That that still to me that should not have an effect because if you are the head coach, you have to prepare your team for that. And to me, he overlooked them. Harbs overlooked. Harbs overlooked that team. He overlooked them. He overlooked the Colts. It's crazy. It's crazy. But thank you all for coming by. Everybody stay safe. God bless.